All right, welcome back to Keeping the Comic. And today we're diving into a new Wolverine series. And I gotta be honest with you, man, this first issue here was really good. And this one is right after the end of Krakoa. And Wolverine is having a little bit of a hard time here adjusting to life again. This puts him right in the crosshairs for an old villain that is kind of his equal that will get a little bit of an upgrade later on that we haven't seen, by the way, for a long while. And then we also get introduced to some new metal that hates adamantium and wants to get rid of it from the face of the earth so this story here starts out in northwest canada where we see a pack of wolves traveling through the snowy mountain and in the middle of them we see our guy here wolverine with no clothes on by the way you know for reasons because he don't need it because he's a prime wolf you know what i'm saying Let, let's let's just move on here so a few minutes later on we see a man in the woods that is on the hunt to find our guy wolverine so this man here is silas burr aka Cyrus. Now he's a mutant and he's an old villain of Wolverine who used to be his drill sergeant. Wolverine hated this dude. So just like Wolverine, he has adamantium, only his it's actually on his skin this time. He also does have a healing factor, although not quite as efficient as Wolverine and Sabretooth. And he also has retractable claws that have a poisonous element to it. And that basically is kind of like the basis of his abilities here because later on he received more upgrades and more upgrades over time. So he's even even stronger now now cyber this dude has a little bit of an a vendetta right against wolverine especially after remembering it was like a previous encounter where wolverine bit out this dude's eye so he wants wolverine to die and die a painful slow death as well but first he decides to take out these wolves because he's a jerk just because he just wants to hurt him he doesn't want him to just die he wants to also emotionally damage him as well now there were some other hunters that managed to slightly sneak up on cyber but these hunters they weren't even looking looking for him they were looking for wolverine because they mentioned how they heard about a naked man running around with multiple knives of course referring to his adamantium claws so cyber lets him know hey you got the wrong killer but just your luck you found me instead and then dude goes on the attack now cyber he's not the only one looking for wolverine because nightcrawler here he finds himself in the mountains looking for him as well and yo this opening line here was so funny man this dude says hey i'm the best at what i do and i'm like hold up like what they about to do right here with nightcrawler and then he says but what i do is worry and it just made me laugh because i'm just like it's a nod of course to wolverine but it's also in the way that nightcrawler would act because nightcrawler is always worrying about somebody worrying about his friends you know he's he's a nice guy let's let's, let's leave him alone now since the mutants left krakoa wolverine has cut off all contact with all x-men so this story seems like it's before or at least before like the new x-men uncanny series and probably before the new x or in between the new X-Men series and the Uncanny X-Men series as well that's running right now. So Nightcrawler is worried about Wolverine being too isolated, wallowing in sadness, and in his own way, kind of like falling back into like these old dangerous habits, right? So he's here to rescue Wolverine from the danger of basically himself. So while he travels on this quest, he ends up bumping into the men that Cyber had came in contact with, and they're all dead, like very, very dead. So seconds later, Wolverine jumps out screaming full claws out in attack mode almost slicing nightcrawler in three so nightcrawler he's able to teleport away like just in time which then gives wolverine enough time to catch his scent and then to realize yo it's his old friend and he keeps calling him elf so nightcrawler asks the questions like yo what happened to these bodies that are right here wolverine so wolverine lets him know he's like you're the same thing that happened to his pack and then he tells him yo come follow me now when they get there wolverine shares how he has not been in the best place mentally in the last couple of months between what happened at Orcus, you know, Lever and Krakoa and because of what Charles Xavier did and it's basically taken a toll on him. So he believes that he's not much of use to the X-Men right now and personally feels like they're not much use to him either, right? However, with his wolf pack, he's like, yo, I felt needed. I got what I needed from them. I had my space, my quiet, my freedom to do whatever he desired. But now with the pack dead, he's blaming himself for thinking it would be that easy and ultimately this is what he believes got his pack killed so nightcrawler sympathizes with him he's like yo i understand too that like we are like family to you like the x-men you know our family and that the family the x-men the mutants they need him as well so then nightcrawler he hands him a gift box right which is his old x-men suit which he doesn't really want of course so wolverine wants to leave that in the past but nightcrawler explains well the past has a way of catching up to you my friend how things are bad for the mutants 
Atlas right now, which let's be honest, guys, aren't things always bad for the mutants? But either way, he lets him know they need a leader, which once again, of course, Wolverine's like, yo, I am not a leader. Like, why are you asking? Why are you telling me that? Now, but before they could kind of go on with this little banter here, they hear a guy screaming for help. So Wolverine recognizes that it's coming from a campsite and he also smells something like blood, gun smoke, and then also adamantium. So we know it, you know, that other guy. So he puts on the suit and they both charge over to the scene. When they get there, they see the group that was camping and then a dead body on the ground. Now, somebody in the group tells him that there was this guy that just walked up to the camp. He had metal arms. So now we know it's for sure. It's confirmed that it was cyber. The guy tells him that he punched the guy to death like he was having fun with it. So someone else mentions how cyber had said to them that he was doing this so that it would draw him out. So the other guy asks, so which one of you is him referring to Nightcrawler and Wolverine? Then someone else says, man, I thought these guys were Avengers, but no, they're mutants recognizing the costume with the ax that Wolverine has there on his belt. So another one of them says, feeling angry because, you know, his friend just died because of Wolverine. He decides to charge after Wolverine. But before that could even really get anywhere, Wolverine catches a whiff of something. And then he tries to warn Nightcrawler by jumping after him and yelling, get down. But it turns out that Cyber had already fired a bullet, right? And it luckily only grazed Nightcrawler, but it still did some damage as it looked like it was kind of like a sniper bullet there. So Wolverine has to rush Nightcrawler to safety while he's taking hits, like he's taking bullets and hits at the same time. He ends up finding a rock to hide Kurt behind. And then he rips off a piece of his little backpack or little bag that he had there. And then he wrapped it around the wound to kind of stop the bleeding from happening. Then he runs after Cyber and then he finally gets to see him face to face. So Cyber's like, yo, you finally done hiding? And then Wolvie's like, yo, you came all this way here for a conversation? He's like, yo, bro, we ain't got to talk about this. Let's go. So then he pulls out the claws, snick, and I'm not going to lie to you here. The visuals from this fight look really clean. There's a moment where you see the adamantium clank off of each other and it makes like a loud screeching sound, which they said echoed through the entire forest. There's also this scene where like Cyber's mask, like it looks dope because he's blocking Wolverine's punch and then he's looking down with the mask at the same time and it has like this like Batman almost like ninja type of look. Yo, I love the way that his eyes look with this one here. So good. And there's also this moment here where they go head to head, like literally head to head and you can see the blood spattering off of both of them. I'm telling you, this was a really good um, looking fight scene here. Now, while this fight is happening, there's a narration that's going on here that is inspired from this fight, but it also introduces us here or gives us a glimpse into this new metal that I was talking about earlier in the intro. So it says, deeper still it travels into the seemingly bottomless depths of the earth where metal is born. And there, there the sound is heard. It is pure and it is true. Once it was wielded by the worthy, its many names rang out in the hands of heroes. In the many centuries since that age, it has slumbered. But the dim, distant echoes of man's false metal have grown louder with every day of this unworthy age. And of course, they're referring here to Wolverine's claws because he's been there for the past couple of weeks now. That's what it's been hearing, and it's hearing it louder now because of their fight. And then it continues. And on this night, as that scream and screech grows loud enough to pierce the very earth above it, it wakes. Now, while this was being said, we kept seeing this gold orb, which was slowly and slowly starting to wake up that now looks like a gold substance coming to life. But back with Cyber and Wolverine, Wolverine has finally gotten the upper hand. Cyber's face is all bloody and so is Wolverine's, but Wolverine's face is only bloody because of Cyber's blood. So Cyber tries to run away, but Wolverine is like, nah, bro, I got a pack to avenge. And he's like, remember when I bit out your eye, I can still taste your blood. I screwed up that that day i should have taken them both and cyber somehow after that he gets to his feet and wolverine is like once again yo where are you going but then cyber reminds him listen your blue buddy he's probably bleeding down there right now through that piece of cloth that you slapped on him by now so that wolverine he lets him go and then he heads back to nightcrawler and when he gets there there was a woman tending to him as he was waking up so he tries to thank her but she's basically like i'm a doctor and that's the only reason why i did it and then she bounces and says like 
this is your issue to deal with now. So then Wolverine lets Nightcrawler know that, hey, he came back for him, but unfortunately due to that, he had to let Cyber get away. So Cyber wanders into a cave, and once he gets there, we can see the narration pop up again, telling us how it can sense the foul metal approaching the caverns, referring to his adamantium that's on Cyber. The old metal is weak from its slumber, talking about the gold one that we're, we've been seeing this entire time, and how it must build its strength so it chooses to start with Cyber. So the gold metal goes after Cyber. It's not exactly clear what it does to him, but it does state that it purified him of how weak his will was, made him worthy of wielding, talking about Cyber, but its work has only begun. More of the false metal adamantium remains, talking about out there in the world, and it will not rest again until all of it has been purged from this earth. And then we see Cyber with this new upgraded golden skin, golden eyes, and I can only imagine this is probably going to be a real problem for Wolfie. He may have met his equal now. This is this was a great first issue here, a phenomenal fun read for me. What did you think, guys? Leave it down below in the comments. Drop a like on this video here for the algorithm them subscribe if you are new here and also hit that notification bell up top to receive all notifications here for this channel join our discord for more additional updates there as well and as always thank you so much for kicking it with keeping a comic Bye.